And I'm back. Did you doubt me? I'm glad you didn't. All right, so what I did is I took my hair, put it behind my ears, gave a little brush. So now we're ready to get into the face. Normally what I do is, if it'll cooperate, <laughs> I take a face wipe and I will clean off my face. Did I take a shower? Yes, but I have sweated since then and I do not want any of that under my makeup when I start. It's gonna happen as the day goes on, but it won't be as bad as it would be if I didn't do this step. It's like an old lady. I'm sorry. I'm an old lady too, so I can do that. Now, if I look at my face and I can see that I need some kind of help somewhere, which I don't know if there's much help for it, <laughs> um, but if I see that it might need some kind of specific health help, like maybe it has a blemish or something going, not this rash thing, I don't think I would use it on that because that's really irritated skin, but like if I see a, you know, irritation or some dead skin or whatever and it just doesn't look quite bright and nice or whatever and I have the time keywords there then normally the night before I would use this little bad boy right here you know what <laughs> I call it a I basically call it a uh, um, pore sucker yeah because that's what it does uh, it looks like this very cute, don't you think? And uh, it has three different speeds. Wait a minute, I gotta hold it down. Speed number one, can y'all hear that? Yeah. Um, there, turned it off. It has several different attachments. You can use this sort of like a dermabrasion. It can be used to help remove blemishes. Like I've got one right there. I'll have to work on that sucker tonight. It just came up. It wasn't there last night or I'd have got it. Anyways, it helps with that. It kind of does a little bit of a, of a poor dermabrasion on the fine lines of your face and it takes a little bit to get used to it. It will make your skin red because it's bringing blood to the surface. The very first time I ran it over my face, it felt like I was pulling tape off of my face. But I got over that initial shock. I got over that just a few seconds later, I'm trying it and I was able to do my face. You just kind of get, okay, so that's what it's gonna feel like it. Okay, I got that. And then you, you're able to use it and it's not really, as unpleasant as ripping tape off. It's just the initial shock, you know, because I didn't know what it was going to feel like. But, um, yeah, now I'm like, well, let's see if we can get that blemish with it. So I got on a low setting. Put on medium. Let's see what we can do here. And that's the main thing. You're supposed to, and that redness will go away. But it's supposed to be used to get your blackheads. It's supposed to be used on your fine lines, like that. And I mean, I've got like little crow's feet. Here we go. And what that does, it'll help it plump up. Oh my God, I actually did get that. It's a little red, but that'll go away. I turn red when I just go through life. But, uh, I haven't tried it on my nose to get rid of blackheads yet. Y'all want me to do that? Do you? If so, comment down below and I'll do it. I'm trying to turn it off. I forget how to turn it off. Um, it's supposed to, it's even got a, an attachment that you can use, like, right around your mouth here. And it's got a pair of tweezers. And it's got this little dumalali right here, which is going to help, you know, you, you run across your face to get blemishes out like you would do it here and you'd go, 
pressed down like that and you run it over it and it's supposed to remove it for you. I get dead skin cells. Yeah, I got nothing because I already did it. But I got dead skin cells that come off my face with this. The best way to use this is right after you've washed your face while your face is still a little bit damp because then the dead skin is softened and it will really come off your face. I mean, it's amazing. I love it.